All right, everybody, the video that so many of you have been asking for, we are finally going to do multiple battery range tests on the new Stark Varg. We are going to do some of this, some of this, and even some of this. All right, you guys know the drill. For all these tests, we're going to start at 100% battery and run it down to 10%. So this test right here is what I'm going to call just my normal trail pace. What's up turkeys? So nothing too crazy, but just normally what I would ride if I was just out here with my buddies. On this first mixed mountain trail ride, I rode the Varg at my ideal ride mode of 40 horsepower with 50% engine braking. I weigh approximately 165 pounds with gear and I'm riding at my normal off-road pace, which many of you are familiar with. Throughout this ride, I climbed just over 6,000 feet and I also descended just over 6,000 feet. My trails have fast flow sections, which you're seeing here, slower hard enduro sections, and what I call mixed mountain single track. Here is where I was at when the battery display read 50%. All right guys, just a mid-ride update right now. I'm in the middle of what I'm gonna call the standard mountain single track battery range test on the Varg here. I'm running in 40 horsepower and I'm at 50% battery right now. So far I've gone 17.5 miles, so uh, we're halfway battery right now, uh, just over an hour of ride time. Bike's saying an hour and nine minutes, so uh, there was a little bit of a couple stops here and there to change GoPro batteries and some other stuff like that, but yeah, we're looking at 17 and a half miles halfway through the battery right now, so we will keep pushing along and see where we end up. After running the rest of the battery down to 10%, I had gone 33.8 miles for a total ride time of 2 hours and 11 minutes. This is honestly where I expected this bike to be, roughly 10% better range than I was getting on the Alta Redshift. The next test was to attempt the 6 hour ride claim that everyone is talking about with the Varg. For this test, I set the bike to 25 horsepower and kept the engine braking at 50%. I rode at a slow trail ride pace, barely going over quarter throttle throughout the ride. This pace proved to yield a range of 49.5 miles and three hours and 24 minutes of ride time. I do think some riders can get better numbers than this if they are really taking it easy. After doing this test, I don't necessarily think it's impossible to get six hours of ride time but you would need to be in the absolute ideal conditions and you better be prepared to be going painfully slow. We ran some casual range tests when testing the bike at the motocross track. In this session, we're at Thunder Valley MX with test rider Derek Anderson at the helm. Derek ran the AMA Pro National Series for years and has racked up enough pro points to prove that he is one fast dude on a dirt bike. Derek is weighing in at roughly 210 pounds with gear, and Thunder Valley has some solid elevation change and softer dirt. He rode the bike primarily in 50 horsepower with a couple stints in 40 horsepower, both with 50% engine braking. Including some quick stops and a few cruises on the water truck lane, which I should point out is common for a day at the track, Derek went 18.2 miles for a total of 56 minutes of ride time before the battery started to show its fatigue. Moving over to another MX scenario, industry essential Rob Amandi rode the Varg at IMI Motorsports Complex. Rob is a former pro himself turned USMCA coach that has a ton of skill on two wheels. Rob rode the Varg primarily in 40 horsepower, with a few sections at 50, both modes with 50% engine braking. 
and he weighs roughly 180 pounds. Although the track was prepped today, Aimai is a bit more of a hard packed track and has very little elevation change. Rob was able to squeeze 17.9 miles for a total of one hour and four minutes of ride time before the battery had seen enough. In both of these MX scenarios, it's plausible that a vet rider may see slightly better range than Derek and Rob would put down. However, both of these guys are super efficient on the bike, so the energy that they use by being more aggressive may also be counteracted by their efficient timing and superior roll speed. On the flip side of that, this was a track day test and not a full moto test. If either of these riders were running at race pace from start to finish, the average speed would increase and the ride time would decrease significantly. When it comes to charging, each household may be supplying different power, but I'm using a 30 amp, 240 volt outlet. At a charging speed of eight out of 10, it took roughly two hours and 40 minutes to charge from 10% to 100%. In an effort to see the fastest charge speeds I could achieve, I stepped the charging speed up to 10 of 10, and it took roughly the same amount of time to go from 10% to 100%. I think this was a limitation of the power that my outlet was offering. So you may see different charge times in this, depending on your setup. To recap this whole range video, we're getting 33.8 miles at a normal trail pace in the mountains, 49.5 miles at a slow trail pace, 18.2 miles at Thunder Valley, and 17.9 miles at IMI. Is this the range that you guys were expecting? Let us know, and thanks for watching. Just basically your display, so it's going to just show you what power mode you're in, how fast you're going, and your battery percentage. It's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie to you. I wish that it just had a display, like a small thing to show you your mode. Like, we'll be able to tune in, but like, next to the truck, you know what I mean? But that's just my, my personal opinion of it. So, horsepower wise, I've got it set to 30 horsepower, 40. 50, 60, and 80. Okay. So it's <laughs> up to you how you want to run it. You know. <laughs> like the, what I'm saying, how I could get used to it is there's less to worry about. I don't have to worry about shifting. I don't have to worry about the clutch. It's just like, and when you want the power, it is there. Even on setting three, yeah. like, God damn. It's crazy, right? So sick, yeah. yeah.